Some of the skills that I've learned through CTE classes are kind of just like employment skills, like being able to work with others in a group, being able to finish a project on time, being able to just kind of function within that kind of setting, like a work environment. And I feel like CTE classes put a lot more emphasis on that than other gen ed classes. So I feel like those have definitely helped prepare me for a career in the future. I hope to uh, achieve a career in aviation, mostly, you know, rockets and stuff. I want to work for NASA. So you can imagine going into manufacturing design. It's really helped me through the CNC, through working with sheet metal. All these skills are just perfectly tuned for what I want to do in life. I'm looking at going into the boiler making association or union and the home shop class has really helped me out with that. I've gotten kind of a jump start on welding a lot of kids my age don't know how to do. So I've always wanted to be a vet, and I mean, as a kid, I always remember wanting to be involved with any kind of animal way or form. And so vet science, it gives me a lot of opportunities to look at the skills I need, and especially wanting to go in that kind of career, it kind of points me in the direction of what um, like hierarchy I want to be in when it comes to that. Honestly, I'm not quite sure. And I used to think of that as a bad thing, but I kind of see it as a good thing now. I think the CTE classes have actually opened my mind. I used to kind of be one track minded in what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into medicine and that's still an opportunity and a possibility for me. But through these CTE classes, I've also discovered other interests and passions of mine. And so I don't really want to rule those out. I think taking these CTE classes has been really good for me and helped me realize that there are other things in this world that I'm interested in and that I can be um, of assistance to in the world and that I'm really passionate about. And so I'm not really sure which direction I'm going to go, but I know that I have choices to go into. Well, Advanced Video Production gave me the opportunity to work with a team and uh, getting that different experience in because I want to become a teacher when I grow up. So being able to uh, learn different perspectives and different personalities um, and just have a level of professionalism all thrown in at the same time. Everything is about presentation. How you uh, present yourself can show a lot. And so I feel like me getting in that class, working with other people, the mayor, um, gives me that experience where I can get out and communicate with people effectively. I've learned how to actually work with a team too, teach people. Um, like I've taught a lot of kids in that class who are newcomers coming up and you just show them how to weld and you can slowly watch them progress from their welds turning from like just slop on metal to actually something really pretty to look at, you know? And um, it's cool to lead teams because we got like separate teams in there, just know how to manage people. Really, uh, it's set building with when I go uh, help Miss Olsen with uh, drama. So it's just getting together with a bunch of other drama kids and being able to put up these huge structures like uh, for our last uh, musical we had to put together a, a two-story structure completely by hand we had uh, these pallets we uh, built struts and the whole process was done by us we had we started with just this pile of just wood and we built this huge two-story structure and it was incredible and it's just this feeling of accomplishment you know one thing I learned in Stagecraft a little bit we dug into was marketing. Even though it was about plays and musicals, uh, we learned what it's like to, you know, send out like report letters to get your ideas out there and to uh, make posters and like how they're supposed to look. And, and um, I learned sewing, which will help me actually a lot in the career I want to go into and um, how to do simple building things, uh, construction work and Especially with this office management class is teaching me um, what needs to, what's expected in the workforce, what needs to be done, um, how you how you have to look, how you have to act, and how to be in a professional setting at all times. And I feel like it's actually helped me a lot with that. Excuse me, to say I didn't really look at it as any like big thing. I just thought it as you know this could just be some kind of high school fun club thing, and this was freshman year. And um, the advisor at the time, uh, Ralph Schultz, you know, he was like, just just come and see, you know, for one meeting. 
and um, I ended up joining and it led into one thing and the one thing led to another and it taught me a lot of skills. I'm in sports medicine as well um, as FFA and so in sports medicine I think I'm really proud of just like working with our student athletes and being able to create a relationship with them um, and help them like in their athletics. With sports med we do uh, after school activities like practicum which is basically a job because we work in the uh, training room and we do everything an athletic trainer kind of does because we have our athletic trainer Alicia in there. And so we like learn how to, for example, we learn how to tape athletes, we learn how to take care of them, do rehab for them, just all that stuff. So that's basically a job in itself. My education has really revolved around CT CTSO classes, um, career technical education classes. And those have really given me the specific skills to go into the career field that I want to go into and that I know I will be very productive and enthusiastic about. Do your best, you know what I mean? It's show up, like, cause a lot of underclassmen, they don't show up on time. They skip school, they skip a lot of stuff and they don't realize it till it hits them. I did the same and then I came back last two, three years. I'm like, okay, I really need to buckle down because this is it, you know what I mean? I mean, I only got three years left. It's like, all right, I'm going to find something that I want to do and I'm going to do it well. So many people miss school and I've heard of people having like 70 something excused absences or even unexcused absences. And it's just ridiculous and that's what's going to get you fired from a job, you know what I mean? It's that moment when you don't stay committed to something, you know? And not only that, but like find something you love to do. Something that you love to do, like grind for, you know what I mean? Like. You gotta love the process in order to find a good job. Something you're gonna truly love doing. There's no regret in applying and not getting it. The worst thing that you can do is not apply. But when I'm looking for jobs, I apply to every single place that I can. There's no shame in not getting an application back. Just apply everywhere that you possibly can and something has to turn up. You know, never give up applying just because you're like, oh, well, this one place didn't hire me. No, just because one place didn't hire you doesn't mean that a hundred others aren't waiting for you. There's nothing wrong with applying.